Hi Dress Air Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to be drawing Violet from Rainbow High. So let's get started. To draw this pretty fashion doll, let's first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and start with basically a bottom of a U. So I'm going to come right across, about right here, and connect it at the bottom with a curve. Set up a nice round curve in, and then we're going to come back to where we started and draw a circle right on the edge. And let's do the same thing right on this side as well. So come right across, right here. and draw another circle. From there, let's make them draw so cute eyes. So I'm going to come in here with two small circles for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here. From there, let's draw her lashes. So I'm going to give her a bunch of them. So let's uh, start with the main one right here on the edge. I'm going to draw a thicker one right here. And then I'll add, say, maybe about three more. One, two, and three. <laughs> let's spruce it up, right? Because she is a fashion doll. And at the bottom right here, we can also add three small ones. So same thing over here. So nice thick one for the first one, so longer, and then three more. So one, two, and three. And then at the bottom, same thing. We're just going to add three small lashes at the bottom. Hopefully that doesn't look too weird. <laughs> Okay, so then from there, let's draw her mouth. So if this part, I'm going to give her lips, but if you um, think this is too hard, just give her a simple curve for a smile, right? So, um, but let's challenge ourselves today. So today I'm just going to go ahead and say about right here, I'm just going to draw a curve to start with. Start with a curve, and then um, right here at the top, I'm going to bring in a curve at the top. And then at the bottom as well. A very simplified lip. And then right here in the center, just give it a little curve. And the bottom as well. So hopefully you can see that my Sharpie didn't muddle it too much. But that is the idea for the lips. And then from there, let's bring this up a tiny bit more. And so then about right here, right above her lashes, I'm going to draw um, her bangs. So I'll start and go right across. And here and there, I'm just going to zigzag to break it up. So just go up and down. And we just want to bring this right across. And sometimes you can go up a little bit more. But you just want to create this texture right across. And before I forget, we still need to draw an indication of her brow. So right above, right here, I'm just going to draw a curve right on the bangs right there. And so then let's bring this up for her bangs now that we're out. And we're going to bring it all the way up and around and connect there. Now that we have her bangs in, let's come to the top and draw her half ponytail. So there's one layer right here. We're just going to add a curve for the first layer. 
bring it right across and then right here we're going to make it smaller this is where it's tied up and connect and then from there we're going to come say a little bit higher about right here and we're just going to start to wobble a curve down and then right here we just add some uh, curves right here coming out so it looks like her hair is coming out of this band right here there okay so then it'll all make sense soon <laughs> let's bring this down and we're just gonna wobble it close to her bangs and bring it down with a curve so same thing over here but except over here let's just change it up a tiny bit and give it two little strands of hair that pop out and then continue the wobble with the hair down there okay so then now let's um come back over here and in this area we're going to draw one strand that just curls down because right in here we need to tuck her ear so right where her eyes are i'm just going to bring in the curve and same thing over here so once again just going to bring in the curve and then in the same area just tuck in a part of her ear indication then from there let's draw her body before we finish the rest of her hair so i'm going to come right here in the center and give her a tiny little neck and we're just going to curve this out. From there, let's go ahead and connect this V-neck right here in the center and up. And then right here, we're just going to start with a curve that comes down. Because we need to draw this fur coat that she has, right? So I'm going to come right here, one more layer for her dress inside. And then from there, let's start to draw her fur coat. So I'm going to kind of start by flaring it out. So let's go one, two, three, four. Let's do the same thing over here. I'm just bringing it down and let's see. So let's come back up here and about in this area i'm going to start to make it look like fur so if um if you're already coloring you have your markers or your color pencils with you definitely do this part with uh, the color of the jacket which is kind of like a purplish because i just feel like the sharpie is really harsh right to make it look like fur if you can but um, just wanted to show you how to just kind of go zigzag back and forth and we're just going to follow this right here so just here and there just make these little points <laughs> so that's my uh, way of making it look like fur hopefully okay so it's the same thing over here so let's come right here and we're just going to bring it out and once again go all the way back and forth so I'm just making these tiny little marks okay so um, I think let's bring it one more one more layer down so I'm just gonna start to come down straighter now and let's go ahead and just connect it there Okay, so then now to uh, make sense of this, wherever you went in right here, we're just going to go ahead and softly draw a curve right across. There. So now it makes a little bit more sense, right? Right across. And then in between here, we're just going to add her uh, dress, her short little mini dress. So I'm just going to add a little curve right across. And then let's come back up here. We're going to put her arms about right here. So once again, we're going to do the same thing. This is going to be her um, arms right here. So just back and forth. And we're coming out uh, wider as we come and then about right there. 
just bring it in. And then once again, same thing. Just add some of these curves. Let's see here. One, one more right here. So same thing. Oh, let's add her hand. So right here, let's just pop out her hand. Nice and simple. Just a thumb. And fingers. Okay, so same thing over here. too high <laughs> looked off okay just add a little bit more and then right here once again same thing just give her a thumb and then fingers there okay so now let's see here so hopefully that made it a little bit easier to make it look like um, a fur coat Almost forgot to add these curves in here. There. And let's see here. Okay, so then from there, we're pretty much done with this part. Let's just draw her legs now nice and easy and straight. So right here in the center, and I'm gonna bring this down at an angle. And this is just going to kind of go straight and at a very slight angle. Nice long legs. Oh my goodness. Here. Okay. <laughs> Messy. Okay, so then about right there, we're gonna flare it out and start to draw her shoe. So just right here, let's go ahead and connect it. So let's do the same thing over this side. Draw this line first. And about right there, just like the other side, flare it out a little bit, then come in. And once again, we're just going to do the same thing right here. Angle it in. And flare out. There. And then for her shoe, let's come give her a heel. So right here, we're going to add slight angle line and connect and then the straps on her shoe right here and one more over here and she has socks so about right here add a curve so same thing on the other side Totally simplifying it, of course. <laughs> okay, so the, there, um, let's see. Can add a little curve right here, the back of the jacket, and then her hair. So let's just bring this down, wobble it some more, and just tuck it in. So same thing over here, and tuck it in, and. Um, and continue some of these strands right here and last but not least of course right I have to add a heart so I'll add it right here in the center So they're all done. I really hope you love how Violet turned out from Rainbow High and that I made it fun and easy for you to follow along with me. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cube videos. See you later.